Hey everyone, it's your boy Terry. Uh, I should have worn my jacket because it's a little breezy and chilly outside of the radio station tonight. I've had a few requests, most recently from James Rutherford about 10 minutes ago to start recording my videos this way, but there is a 1,000% more chance I will cover the microphone on every video if I do that. But I will work on it, Jim, just for you. Because that's how I feel about you. Um, pretty uh, sedate last couple of days. Been doing a lot of writing, lots and lots of writing, about three, four hours a day on the computer, uh, working up a new story. I believe I've told you it's uh, going to be Sherlock Holmes and the Devil of Jersey, the Jersey Devil. I might keep it the Werewolf of the Cape, something like that, Wolf of the Cape. I'm open to suggestion on that. I've introduced another famous character. Uh, it gives nothing away to say that Holmes and Watson are brought over to America to uh, help with a problem that American authorities can't figure out. But I've introduced another famous American character from that time frame. I'm, I'm not sure if it's cool or if it's just too Hollywood or, or what the deal is. I'm going to keep writing with this character. He's already in play. Um, it's probably not who you're thinking, but it just something that occurred to me being that time period, late 1800s. Anyway, I'm sure this is very scintillating listening right now. Uh, it's been nothing but rain down here for about four or five days. I'm really holding out hope it clears up for the kids because it's prom tomorrow. I have two going, a freshman and a junior, uh, Jackson and Owen. Owen did fantastic in the Mr. Lower Cape May Regional High School pageant last night. Pageant contest, whatever you want to call it. The male version of a beauty pageant. Uh, and there were ten kids nominated. They were all, they were all really funny. Um, I don't know where these kids today get it, but uh, when I was a junior, senior, if I went on stage, I mean, I would, you know, I still had this sort of um, comfortable presence, but, you know, it was the, the proverbial duck who looks calm in the water while his legs are flapping like hell underneath. Owen did not win. I don't think many juniors do or have. I'm not sure if juniors are supposed to or meant to. I think it's just sort of a, a an olive branch to the, to, the, to the better kids that are underclassmen. Um, but he did, uh, everyone else is doing, like, singing. A couple of kids did really funny beat poetry. Owen did about four minutes of stand-up comedy, and it was really pretty good. I was sweating bullets for him because I told him, Owen, I gave a toast at my brother's wedding about 15 years ago. And to this day, anytime I think of weddings or toasts, I break out in sweat, a cold sweat and hives. It was so bad, but, um, like, George Costanza Seinfeld level bad. Uh, but it was, see, I'm, I'm sweating right now just thinking about it. Owen took home a trophy for best introduction. They just took 30, 60 seconds said who they were. Uh, and Owen was just very funny. He has a very calm, comfortable presence on stage. And even though he said he was very nervous for his stand-up, uh, he just, you know, he looked like a stand-up. He was walking around, had the, had the mic, and he did a good job. Very proud of him. Uh, I'm sure he'll be nominated again next year. Um, and I got two other kids in the pipeline who are blessed slash cursed with the same uh, performance gene. Although Jackson's is more dancing and not like singing and uh, being out there as a personality. Owen was just born for this kind of stuff. So let me know if you think Sherlock Holmes and the Jersey Devil should have a third famous American character in it. Or if I just leave those guys as the, the stars. I mean, I, well, so maybe I'll put a couple chapters up on the Patreon page and let you guys tell me what you think. How are you tonight? Getting okay, out of the wind like me? Yeah, we're I'm trying to go pick, pick up a friend. Ah, gotcha. There's that beautiful new Wawa over there, newly renovated. Anyway, uh, what else is going on? Probably going to end up playing chauffeur to at least one kid tomorrow for the prom. And uh, But other than that, it's going to be writing. Uh, I think Catherine's going away for the weekend. So there's that. Uh, my production partners and I are in the process of editing and seeking advertisers for our uh, podcasts. We have two in the can now. We're just looking for a few advertisers before we put them on the air. Of course, you guys will get a link to that. And I'll try to simulcast them here on the YouTube just to generate more views uh, and such. So not much to talk about tonight. I spent most of today in bed. I had a little bug earlier. Um, I got lots of sleep. <laughs> Didn't get to bed till about 5.30 today. Ate something, went back to bed till about 7.30 and then came here to do karaoke. 
Uh, again, I think I'm still just, I had a really hard day at work with, I had a long weekend, then a really hard day at work with Bob, and then we ran up and we recorded the podcast. It was just sort of, in baseball, they call it high leverage innings, and the pitcher comes out in the first inning and like walks, the bases loaded, and has to bear down and strike out the side. That pitcher generally doesn't last more than four or five innings in the game. I had a high leverage weekend and then early week, and I was just wasted a lot of Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today. Uh, but back at it uh, next week. We pound the pavement, looking for people to advertise in the podcast. Recording the second one about a week from today ish for Cape May Stage. Anyway, lots of stuff going. Lots of irons in the fire. It's all very exciting. Uh, but there's about nine karaoke singers in there right now who are saying, "What the hell is Terry doing out there?" So uh, happy Friday, and I'll try to do a good night video. But they get me out of here pretty quick. They, they roll up the sidewalks about 12:01. So have a wonderful day. You can see this is all growing back in at the usual rate. Uh, Till next time, be good.